it's breezy girl here back at it again with another video today i'm super excited we are going to be doing a product review so i purchased curl smith strength recipe and i bought a couple things from them if you guys have never heard of curl smith they are a um product line for curly haired people now per their website uh they are first gourmet curly hair products um and i definitely you know wanted to see what all the hype was because uh this line is all over social media um there's definitely a whole bunch of reviews about it and you know another review definitely doesn't hurt um and i wanted to test it before i even made this video so i have been using this line for about three weeks going on to four weeks now because i definitely wanted to just give you an honest review of what it is because this this um, video is not sponsored, although I wish it was <laughs> because Curl Smith is not cheap. I had to use my hard earned money for this um, and I wanted to show you just like how I apply it, uh, what the process is, if it's a yay, if it's a nay, uh, if I like it and whether or not you know you should try it out. Now um, I definitely did some research before I even purchased this stuff because you know I'm all about doing research and digging in and wanting to see what um, chemical what products what the the product is all about and I went into their website and I found out a whole bunch of amazing things and they have these um values that they uh, believe in and they tell you that curly hair should not be complicated that you should accept it and um a couple amazing things i found out is they have this value where they believe in gently does it they are carefully designed to feed the needs of curly hair and they're just jammed packed with um superfoods and i'm going to tell you the ingredients because this is some crazy ingredients that they have in here and it smells amazing um they're also um all about you know protecting the environment they want to make want to make sure that you can reuse um, their bottles for other things it's just pretty much to recycle um, and they are animal friendly uh, they're actually certified by PETA so they're animal friendly and they're certified by PETA so that means they do not test their stuff on animals they actually test their products on humans um, so super super cool so let's just jump right into it the first thing that I did was I washed my hair <laughs> so I washed my hair with with my favorite shampoo and conditioner there's no products in here right now um and i shampooed it right after i shampooed it i started with the curl i'm sorry the bond curl rehab salve so this is not a conditioner what i did was i um put on my conditioner my regular favorite conditioner and i put some of this uh not too much and this stuff is um creamy but very lightweight so if you actually see it's not that thick it's a it's a watery it's a light watery consistency and it smells amazing it actually smells like guava um and if you actually look at the bottle it comes in an eight ounce bottle and it tells you all the cool things vegan cruelty free no silicones no sulfates and all the superfoods that's in it so this has pressed chia seeds it has shiitake mushrooms prickly pear pulp pumpkin seed oil guava and kale um and it's um a bonding treatment for weak damaged hair so again it's not a conditioner i combined it with my conditioner and what i did was i just put my conditioner in i put some into my palm of the rehab salve and i raked it into my hair and i like to rake in the products into my hair because i am also uh detangling my hair at the same time I never rub any kind of shampoo or conditioner into my hair because I'm prone to tangles and that will make your hair tangle more. So you want to make sure you are raking the product in there. And you have to leave this um, bond curl for about 15 minutes. So what I did was with my conditioner and the bond curl all together mixed up in my hair, I massaged my scalp. And when you're massaging, you want to make sure that you're not using your fingernails, you're using your fingers, and you're just making sure you're you're getting that blood circulation into your scalp because again um healthy scalp grows healthy hair so uh, no fingers use your scalp massage it in there for about two minutes just make sure you know you're getting all that product built up out and um i clipped my hair with a little clip and i twisted it and i put 
a shower cap on and left it on for 15 minutes. I then just proceeded to do whatever it is I'm doing in the shower. I shaved, you know, I exfoliated, I cleaned my bathtub for a little bit, but just make sure you have this stuff on for 15 minutes and have a shower cap on. Um, when I, when the 15 minutes was up, I pretty much took out the shower cap, took out the clip and I rinsed it out. And again, when you're rinsing it out, you, before you even actually rinse it out, you want to make sure you're combing it. So again, you're doing another final step of detangling your um, hair and um, you're going to just continue just raking out all the conditioner and the bond curl out and you're done. So I got out of the shower and put on some um, clothes and changed, put on a little bit of makeup and now this is what my hair looks like. So um, that's how I use the Bond Curl Rehab Style. Now this is what my hair looks like. I went um, and I'm going to start my Feather Light Protein Cream. Cream is pretty much just like the curl activator. And what it does is it enhances the curls. It's something you use after you get out of the shower. And this also, again, this comes in an eight ounce bottle. Uh, it has all the specific ingredients. Uh, and this is styling cream for weak damage curls now it defines styles and it's a level four medium hold and this protein cream has wild rice protein pressed temp oil prickly pear cactus sweet almond oil shredded kale guava fruit juice and shiitake mushrooms i mean it's crazy um all amazing superfoods and again it smells like guava so how i apply this is i section my hair with my clips and I will distribute this evenly all over my hair and you do not rinse because this is your after the shower treatment, okay? Um, so let me um, section my hair and I will be right back. I just finished putting the Curl Smith protein cream into my hair uh, and the next step is the gel so I'm currently using my favorite gel you can use whatever gel you like but I'm using the dippity do girls with curls that you can get in any local drugstore I do have a video of this um, for my previous um, videos about how I use this um, but what I'm gonna do is uh, this is it looks just like that you can get this at any local drugstore and it smells amazing too this helps with frizz and and I just get a little bit and what I'll do is I'll do the same thing, rub it uh, in my hands and um, no water anymore. Um, and then I'll start to scrunch uh, gently. And then you want to make sure that when you're applying your gel, you're doing the left, the right, and then you turn, you flip your hair over and you do the back because you don't ever want to forget your back hair. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and I will be right back. Okay, so I just finished putting in my gel and I let this uh, gel sit in my hair for about 10 minutes. Uh, so that way it just settles and it um, holds on to the hair and it, you get this crispy gel cast. I know it sounds weird, but I'm going to show you what I mean. Uh, so let it, the gel sit in your hair for about a good 10 minutes, 5-10 minutes, not too long. 
and then you're gonna wanna uh, diffuse. So um, I'm gonna diffuse my hair and you will see what uh, it looks like uh, with the protein cream and the jelly. Uh, grab your diffuser and let's get to it. I just finished diffusing my hair and this is what it looks like I'm not trying I'm trying not to touch it as much um, but this is not the final look because right now what it looks like is um, I have all this crispy hair that looks like a hot mess um, and if you actually noticed when I was diffusing um, I was just grabbing sections and I would diffuse and then move on to the next section and I wasn't really breaking this crisp out and this this crisp you know is what it is is it's the gel cast and this is what how your curl your how your curls formed when you were diffusing your hair and you're going to actually break this gel cast uh when you are going to apply your oil so uh the next thing that i purchased from curl smith is the um bonding oil and this is actually their number one seller this is brand new and it looks just like that and um this about this product so this product is uh what it does is it softens crunchy hair uh absorbs instantly seals cuticles smooths split ends reinforces hair bonds it's non-greasy locks in moisture and reduces signs of damage now how to feed your curls use one pump per section works best when applied on dry hair uh, if using on wash day, apply after fully diffusing or air drying. You're going to glaze over the oil into your hair and then you're going to um, gently scrunch through to break the gel um, cast. So um, this is what it looks like. This has um, olive and shea blend. Uh, it has castor seeds, apricot kernel. Um, and a whole, a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Let me take this out of the box. So you can see it's um, that. And it smells really good too. And this is the reason why I purchased the Curl Smith line. Because I wanted to see what this was all about. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this gel cast now. And this is the fun part. Um, you're going to just, like I said, you're going to glaze it all over your hair one pump per time. And then you're going to gently crunch. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit in my hand, just like so. I don't know if you can see that, but very little. And then I'm going to rub it in my hair and I'm going to just glaze it. See, just glaze. I don't know why I did that in slow motion. But you're gonna glaze, and then oh, I'm gonna get a. It's there's still a lot in there, so I'm not gonna get any more. And I'm gonna just start from the back, right? And I'm gonna put some on the top. So you're just gonna glaze again. Still using only one pump because again, there's a lot. So. A little bit goes along the way okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my hair over and I'm gonna put some more on there and I'll be right back <laughs> so I just did the back of my hair I you know I leaned forward and put some in the back and now I'm gonna grab on and uh, do another pump of my oil right and there it is again and I'm gonna gently scrunch out this cast now okay and I'm just gonna Gently break the gel cast. And you want to make sure that when you do this, um, 
you're doing it gently and you're doing this you want to make sure that you are um not scrunching too hard and that your hair is completely dry so make sure your hair is dry and follow the directions in the box so that way you get that look so the you can see that now the crisp and the gel cast is breaking and then When you shake on the top of your um, roots, get in there and shake. And then do your side or whatever part, however you part your hair. And this still has a little bit of crunch. And there you go. I definitely would recommend this um, line. Now, the only thing I probably won't get is the rehab self. And the only reason why is because I have other ways that I um, do some treatments with my hair anyway. Uh, which is like the deep conditioner. So there's other alternatives than using the rehab salve. Uh, does It does the job, definitely. Um, and I like the way it smells. Would I purchase this again? Probably not. Um, what I also need to pay attention with uh, on this, uh, on the things that I bought is the Curl Smith bonding oil. Now, the bonding oil, it does its job as well. It's amazing. It smells great. It, it does, it, it makes your hair shiny. Um, the only thing with me is that because I have gray hair, um, I'm afraid that it's going to change the color of my grays. Now, because this is an amber color, um, I'm going to have to pay attention to if, to my hair to see if it's making it brassy or making it like um dull um and, and there are other oils out there in the market uh that are colorless have that are clear uh in consistency so um definitely love it but I need to make sure that I am paying attention. Uh, what I do love is the protein cream. Now this makes my curls soft. Uh, this smells amazing. It does what it's supposed to do and definitely recommend this. I will probably continue purchasing the protein cream from Curl Smith. And if you guys have any questions, definitely leave a comment. If you like this video, definitely subscribe and like. And I cannot wait to see you guys again. Take care guys, bye.